Hello. In this video, we're going over how to install SDXL on your local stable diffusion installations with Automatic 11.11 distribution. SDXL introduce an um, update to the existing models. If you notice, it's add additional process of refinery, as well it's reduce amount of the train data from 512 by 512 to 128 to 128, which allowed to condense much more data inside and have a bigger range of the reference. This is a two-step model. Also does provide with refinery much larger result in the end by the resolution. And you can see like right here is going 124 by 124 by default instead of 512 but what's happened before. To install extensions for stable diffusion we're going to use it um, generously provide extension and GitHub repository from Live so boring programming. That is a very cool name. Copy this repository and you can go down to the code, click down and copy. Next, you want to go to your stable diffusion, click on extensions, install from URL, paste inside. I will provide all those links down below so you can just copy and paste. After when you're done, click install. After I recommend to click check for updates, apply and restart. After your UI is restarted, you will should have a tab called SDL demo. Let's click on this and you will have it some instructions that will appear before you can access this. The extension work this way that you don't download it model before you actually need to log in, get um, agreement. And when you restart, it will download model by itself. But let's go step by step. First, log in to your hugging account, hug face account. And right here, you can see I have my account. If you don't, you can create your account and log in. After login, click on SDL09 Research button, and it should will come to this page with a license agreement. Scroll all the way down, and right here, just put your information, educational, or whatever you feel like, as well, the research link. If you have it, any and other ones notice they all require you can just fill up as a research or creative or other things and click accept after this if you reload you should see you have the file and versions available now at this time if you click you can access and preview the models you can also have a request access to the two models one is a refiner and another one is the base be sure you get access to the both of those models Again, I will provide link for them down below in description. Also notice in the new versions, you may have it accept, accept the research for agreement for 1.0. If you're going there currently, it's for four. So this is was removed as well. When you set all your accesses next, we want to create new token. So for this, just go ahead and click create new token. This should take you to your access. We you have all these different tokens you may create it. Go ahead, go down, click new token, put it name, um, role. I would recommend to set right of hand in some cases, read token, give me errors. So I always set to the right on this. And after you create token, click and copy this. After you copy your token, go back to your stable diffusion installation, click on the settings, go down, find Excel demo, click on this, paste your token inside. You should see you have it model Excel 0.9. Thus, you can select different, but I would say some of them is not accessible. So we'll just select one on the alt on top. You also will have a little bit different settings. This is may change depending on the versions. If you want to generate using CPU, CUDA, or you don't care or don't know. In one case, I'm using RTX 3090, which CUDA processor as well. I want enable refiner. Remember when we have the second step that you need. And this is for that is require update web UI to take effect. So click update and reload. If you notice at this point, the model in your server did not load it. For this, we actually need to restart our server. So it will reread. Let's go ahead, relaunch our server. As progress, you'll notice it will start downloading necessary scripts that is required for installations as well as will download it some models because models is about 12 gigabytes more so it will take some time depend on your internet connect after finish uploading and then downloading all models we can go to sdxl demo tab and now you notice right here we have a similar prompt like we have it in text to image 
with a few exceptions of course we don't have it our control net or any other options available as well if you go look down below right here it's here the very ad of the um, person who is developed so here are the videos available if you need to see on a youtube okay let's go back to our element now we'll notice right here we have the options unload sd checkpoint in case if you have a too much vram use it and i found this actually useful if i'm going to very high width and height and i use it 2048 by 2048 which created which actually in the case when i did it does utilize all of my 24 gigabyte ram and actually even jump a little bit in a shared memory with unloading mem unloading the model that you don't use it that will help a little bit to print up ram also below we have a sampling method currently it is euler discrete by default you can try select different ones and see which one is work better for you as well we have sampling steps currently it's 20 sampling steps we can increase it and we also have options cfg scale seed and refiner refiner is kind of nice options because you can go ahead and try refine a separate image or otherwise it's very nice to separate them so let's go ahead right here we go ahead and click generate and this is what we're receiving on 20 steps let's check a mid journey as to compare and this is something i done in mid journey you can see it does create a little bit sharper images i think a little bit more refined in mid journey definitely it's need a rework a little bit more on the prompts but it's close actually enough to the mid journey to create this uh, one thing what i found like for example here right here is not as refined as in mid journey on this case but we also can increase our steps maybe going to like 65 steps let's try one more time okay it's render we can actually preview you can see how much it was jump it's actually at one point jump quite a bit high as a utilization gpu and and gone down after so this is does produce a little bit better lines in this case so it's very close to our benchmark with mid journey so it create very nice images here as well uh, just to verify that we don't run like deliberate some other stable diffusion i'm going to copy this prompt let's go to text to text paste it as well we'll just put it same negative prompts let's go to do 1024 actually i don't think it will support it that resolution and we'll go generate okay and here's an example of what deliberate does for us broken arms and other things and of course the it's produced much much better effect as they all sell the possible problems you may occur when you install it that model does not load it all away then you want to stop your server and restart it as well you can try to experiment if you go on settings going down Dell demo you can try to different type of the models um how i say i did not find 1.0 it's give me not found i think they changed the repository or other things but you can try those and see if they will work as well and again i'm using cuda you can use the cpu it's probably help if you have it on amd card as well in this case we'll go, take a little bit more time to experiment and see how it's working with this current model but i think hope you find this video is very useful and interested to you again please support um person who create these extensions for automatic 11 and have a great day exploring